Hey guys, if you have already seen by the title, I am doing a book haul today and I am really excited to show you all what extra books I have added to my already growing collection of books. So if you want to know some of the books that I've been able to pick up and collect, stay tuned. So yesterday I was out with my mom getting some food and she asked if I needed to go anywhere else and I automatically said the bookstore. So um, we have this local bookstore that sells like all types of gently used books and they also sell like music and comic books and all that good jazz. I was really excited to go there but like I said in my other video it was snowing yesterday and it was snowing really bad and we drove up and it was closed and I was devastated. So we ended up going to another one of our local bookstores that I don't really like that much because I feel like they're overpriced but I always try to support bookstores because I feel like um, websites like Amazon and eBay are basically killing the game when it comes to being able to buy books for like a really really cheap price. So yeah I went ahead and picked up two books and I am going to show you all what I got. So the first book that I got <laughs> so the first book that I got is Perfect by Ellen Hopkins and I've been wanting this book for so long so long and I finally have it and I don't really know that much about it I know it has to deal with perfection but I've never been disappointed by Ellen Hopkins books except for Burn because it was so sad one of the most saddest books I've ever read but other than that um, I really love her writing style it's very poetic and I just I mean look at that look at this it's so cool I just I love the way that she writes and she writes so eloquently and if you've never heard of Ellen Hopkins what are you doing with your life so then the next book that I got was it's kind of a funny story this is another book that I haven't um, heard that much about but we had this thing in high school where we had to do book trailers and the basis of a book trailer is like you read a book and you basically make a trailer like a movie trailer of the book that you just read well one of the students in our class did a book trailer on it's kind of a funny story I think I did mine on 13 reasons why but I saw her book trailer and I was like oh I gotta pick up this book and this was like about four or five years ago so yeah I've been wanting to read this book for a while but never been able to get my hands on it so yeah I'm excited about reading this book so today when I went into work I saw like a bag of books with my name on it and I found out that my manager left uh, me some books just because she knows how much like I love books and she's leaving for another job pretty much soon so she had a lot of books in her home that she didn't want anymore so I was able to get those and these are the books and I was so happy I was like oh my gosh this is like a late Christmas present <laughs> it made me so happy so the first book is uh, The Forgotten by David Baldacci, Baldacci and this is pretty much like an action type of suspense book I've heard his name before but I've never read any of his books so yeah I'm excited to read this one and this one is Smokescreen by Sandra Brown this is another action themed book and I don't usually read a lot of books with a lot of action or a lot of mystery and um, suspense so I'm pretty excited to um, you know kind of broaden my horizon with this different type of genre the next book is Stone Angel by Carol O'Connell. Don't know much about this book. It says that it's about an NYP, which is basically a police officer, and her having to make a decision after something bad happens in her life. And then the last one is The Client by John Grissom. And my mom just recently told me that this book was made into a movie. So if I really like this book, I hope that I can get the movie off of Netflix or maybe rent it for somewhere. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all. And it's another action suspense type book. 
Also, if you have read any of the books that I've mentioned or if you are interested in any of the books that I was able to show you all, leave them in the comment section below and we can strike up a conversation. Um, and if you are going to tell me about a book, please do not spoil it. There's nothing more than I hate than when someone spoils a book or a movie for me. So please don't do that. But if you liked it, you know, kind of give me a general reason why you liked it. Or if you didn't like it, give me a general reason why you didn't like it. I will see you all in the next video. And you all have a super fantastic day. And try to stay warm. Unless you live in a warm climate, then I don't like you. Well, have a great day. Bye.